All right. Um, today we're going to unwrap this, and basically down the road we are going to um, add in color and stuff like that. So first thing we're going to do is add an unwrap onto our our uh, object, and we're going to go into the UV editor here, and I'm going to usually I move this over and I work on this screen and I move over here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll turn this all off. I'm going to go into um, object mode here, or uh, sorry, polygon mode here, and I'm going to basically select all, and I'm going to flatten mapping. Okay, and that flattening that mapping is basically going to give me these individual pieces right here. So as I'm looking at this, the first thing that I see um, off the off the top of my head is the blades right here. Now the blades are fine together the way they are and the key point in unwrapping this is basically one making sure that I I recognize what objects are what and then two making sure that they all piece together well in here. Okay now um, if I were to make this a game model I really want to pay attention to real estate so the first thing that I can do is I can take this individual these individual pieces here and I'm gonna move these up here and I'm gonna just select by element because it's easier. I'm gonna move this one up here and I'm gonna move this one up here. And I'm gonna just use the uh, checkerboard pattern so I can pay attention to what I'm doing and what the the unwrap looks like over here. So over here it looks it looks fine. Um, what I'm going to do with these though is eventually I'm going to scale them up so I can get more real estate in there. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the handle here. Okay, um, and this handle here is the first thing that I want to concentrate on. And just to make more real estate, I know these. Um, these two are pretty much done, so I'm going to just move those out of the area so that I can concentrate on this other stuff here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of look at what I've got going on here. Um, this is my face, which I'm, I'm happy with uh, this piece right here, and I'm happy with this other side, which is the opposite edge here. Now, um, to do this, in order to, I'm not going to do normals on this map because this is uh, more for a uh, World of Warcraft style map or something like that. So what I can do is I can actually overlap these. Um, and if you use the snap tool here, and uh, vertex snap I believe it is, should be able to, oh, not working for me today. Uh, it's go here and let's actually go into vertexes once I think that'll work actually better grab this and then snap with vertex snap on no not working at all uh, let's try this there we go snaps together alright so I'm gonna snap that together and I think I'm gonna take all these right here and I'm gonna snap this on top of that as well so that that entails that I get the same texture pattern on both sides so I'm gonna unsnap this and oops go back to polygon faces and we'll just select these right here move this off so this is done um, now it's basically filling up the rest of the stuff here um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to uh, let's go to edge mode and take off this and what we're going to do is we're going to start stitching these together okay and um, so I've got my handle here and I'm going to stitch my handle here now I've got stitch selected here um, we can do it that route or I have hotkeyed this together and we're going to just go through here and kind of stitch accordingly. Now you see a missing piece here. We need to stitch that missing piece in there. 
and I'm not worried too much right now on the aspect of what it's going to look like um, as far as this geometry because you can see right now this geometry is, is bending it all up and not, not working very well so I'm just going to uh, Right now, I'm just going to kind of just push everything in there and to one handle here and do this piece. Okay, so this is my hilt here. Um, it's looking pre pretty ugly right now, but that's okay because I'm going to clean it up here. And I, oops, didn't want to do that. So I'm going to stitch this, and then I'm going to stitch this. So once I've got that selected, I'm going to select this whole thing here, and I'm going to go right-click, and I'm going to relax. Now, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is just hit relax, and basically it's going to relax it out. And what you want to do is I'm going to take off my edge facing area here. What you want to do is basically look at this and see if the overall... Um, edge looks rel relatively good. Then the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that um, I rotate this a little bit and sometimes I set this to about a thousand and start relaxing it. So overall this looks okay um, but what I want to do is I want to clean up the geometry a little bit so that it's easier to texture down the road. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is move this over here so that I can work on it a little bit more clear and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, grab this vert here actually we'll do this side first so I'm going to grab this vert here and I'm going to um, align vertically Oops. I'm going to align vertically like so I'm going to grab this here, align vertically as well, and then I'm going to scale this up just a hair, and this just a hair, and the reason I'm doing this is because what's this, what this is doing is basically giving me a nice square foundation to work with. Um, I can adjust the deformations on here and here uh, when I come to it down the road. But overall, if the bottom pieces here line up well, and if everything lines up relatively nice and pretty, um, then I won't get too much deformation. Um, as I work on this. Okay, so I'm going to just take these and uh, actually I'll take all these and I'll move them up so it's relatively close here and then grab I think these, move those down a little bit, move this up a little bit and basically all I'm doing is I'm, I'm it's going to be a little bit distorted and I'm okay with that um, because it fits, uh, it'll fit well together. So basically, I'm uh, gonna go like so, relatively, relatively like that. And as if you look at it, I don't have too much distortion on it, um, and I can actually um, shrink and and maneuver this. So I'm gonna flatten that, and I'm gonna flatten this edge right here, like so. And then, just a real quick test, sometimes this works really well, sometimes it doesn't. Oops. Um, you go into relax mode, and then you relax uh, by edge angles, but you keep the boundaries fixed, and then you start to relax, and that'll actually oops, sorry, start to relax. There you go. So I'm keeping this as my relax, and I think that should be relatively, relatively decent. So there's my hilt done already, and select this, move this out of the way, so there's my, I'm sorry, my handle. Um, now what I can do with this is I can 
I, I know that this here is this piece. So I can take this and move this over. This is done. Um, we're going to go into edge mode. And I'm going to just really quickly stitch this. Oops. Uh, stitch this edge here. And stitch the next one to it. And stitch the next one to it. All right. And then if I want, I can try that relax on there as well. I like the relax dialog open, so I'm going to just leave it over here. And that relaxes that really nice. And I can basically select this and move this out of the way. All right. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to grab this, this part right here and uh, start overlaying this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... Start by grabbing, oh, that's my edge here. So now if I want, I can actually stitch that on. It, I can use it, or if I don't want to use it, that's fine. Um, let's stitch this together. This is my edging here. So that's that, that border right there. And then sometimes, let's see here, what else we got? And we got these pieces here. Um, and let's take a look at where those are. Oops, those are actually part of the blade. Um, if you look, we've got a little bit more of the blade we can go on, work on. So let me grab the blade here. And let's add in those pieces real quick. And just want to make sure that that blade stays relatively close the way it was. Stitch this together. Go on this one here. Stitch this in there, stitch that in there. So there's my, my blade all nice and neat. And we've got those pieces out. Let's take care of these right here. Stitch that, stitch, stitch. And um, let's stitch this in here. And stitch this in there. And there's my other edge of that. So we can stitch that in. Um, let's find out what that is. That's another piece of that. So overall, you know, taking a look at this, um, we've got some bits and pieces here that we have to um, manipulate with but otherwise it looks okay. What I'm going to do, just for my purposes, is I'm going to take, first of all, I'm going to take this blade, and we're going to start um, packing this all up here. Let's see here. This is, let's go here. Let's find out what all these pieces are. All right, so this is your top here. Um, not so important. We can keep that about the same size. Um, this is the side aspect of that. So I'm going to keep this over here. And then this is the band. I'm going to just make that a little bit, a little bit bigger. Um, take a look at that like so. I think Let's do that. So we'll keep this and keep this a little bit bigger here. Um, we've got the top or the bottom of the hilt. Not so important, but we still want to give it its props. So I'm just moving this up here. This is the bottom of that piece, which I should have deleted, but it doesn't look like I did. So I'll just keep it in there. 
Um, move on. Rotate that, put that up there. I'm going to move this over here. Okay, and it's just ba basically a matter of packing this all in so that you know really what you're looking at. All right, then this is this piece here. We're going to just angle it a little bit. I'll paint that in as, in a while. And then this is that bottom piece. And this is the base of the hilt. So I'm going to just make that a little bit bigger. Um, let's see here. This I want to straighten up a little bit. So I'm going to off check this. Go into vertex mode. And like so. basically align vertical and just align this. These don't matter too much because I don't have anything connecting on the back other side of it. So I'm okay with that. And let's take let's go back in, take these two um, and we'll move these tight together. Grab these two, scale that so they fit. This is my hilt, and scale that up bigger. And then this is my face. And I want to scale that up bigger. Now, these are overlapping, so these are double faces. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this and flip it like this so that they mirror each other. And then kind of shove everything else a little bit further up. And that's basically my unwrap, okay? And then next video, what we'll do is we will take this uh, same thing and we'll start painting it in Photoshop. Um, to get this out into Photoshop, you basically render your UV template. Um, I generally would do this 1024 and then scale it down to whatever else I want. Um, so basically we hit uh, render. I should have no overlapping, so I'm going to hit render overlap. And there's my big old map. And we're done. Save it off and you're done. All right, thanks much.